Hey everyone, it's Craig with Frontgate Real Estate, your Conejo Valley real estate expert. Hey guys, and once again, election time is back upon us. And anytime there is something that affects the real estate industry, it's something I always like to talk about and provide as much information as I can. And now for the third time in the last eight years, the topic of rent control is back on the table in the form of Proposition 33. So uh, if you've been, if you're not familiar with what Proposition 33 is, it is looking to allow more city and county County control over rent restrictions currently in place is the Costa Hawkins Act of 1995 that limits the ability for local governments to be able to enact rent uh, enforce rent control on single family homes, homes built after 1995, or new tenants coming into situations. So the the law that they're trying to impose would uh, would repeal the Costa Hawkins Act and allow local governments to have the ability to provide more rent control restrictions. Does I mean they're going to we just allow them the ability to so what's the benefit what's the negative against this well obviously it depends on who you talk to those in favor of the yes vote on Costa Hawkins uh, on uh, proposition 33 are those that are looking to try to reduce rents in the area what's the benefit of that well obviously for communities especially in the Ventura County area here Canal Valley especially that is a higher level area allowing more citizens the ability to live in the area and work in the area creates a healthy environment allow people to be able to live where they work and and flourish and enjoy all the amenities that we have out here the downside of that would be uh, if you're a landlord, of course, it lowers your ability to maximize the return on your investment. It potentially would cause landlords to sell off their properties, which would be good. It would put more homes back on the market since we do have housing issues, obviously. But on the downside, it would reduce the amount of rental properties that are even available out there. So it's a little bit of a double-edged sword. There's also the argument from the uh, opponents that uh, it would reduce contractors wanting to build new construction, but that's not really the situation out here in Ventura County. We, we don't have a whole lot of land to build upon more anyway. So um, personally, I'm a little bit torn on this topic as a, as a realtor, as someone who supports my clients or investors, obviously some of them who are looking to capitalize on their investments. I feel for them. I want them to be able to maximize that as well. On the other side of that coin, I have kids that are in college right now. I would love for them to be able to move back into the area. And even if they have to rent, I'd like them nearby if that's what they choose to be. Being ha Having rent control restrictions would maybe make that a little bit easier for them. It's tough to say exactly how this would play out depending on uh, if it got approved or not. I don't know, but I'm definitely torn on that. I'm not sure how I'm going to vote. I'm curious, how are you going to vote? What's your plan on this? I'd like to hear your thoughts of this and what you are in favor or against it. And start a conversation a little bit of dialogue i'm curious to hear what the members of our community have to say about this as well so leave your comments below if you have any more questions about it or want more information i provided a few links you can look into it yourself i'm happy to answer any questions you might have about it and talk about it as well so uh read up definitely vote make your choice and uh, let your vote be heard anyway if there's anything else i can do for you guys real estate related or otherwise please feel free to let me know i'm happy to help however i can with whatever you guys might need enjoy the rest of your week and i look forward to hearing your response Take care.